everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have just a quick video to review this um, this shade that I have in the cake uh, in the Karen cakes. This shade is called Cake Pop and of course it comes with a pattern. However, this pattern is crochet pattern and I decided to make a knitting scarf uh, out of it. Um, but this is these these are the colors. Uh, here you can't see the white. Uh, maybe it's on the other side, but it's got like a beige, a brown, a grayish, and a turquoise, and the white. Um, and you can't see here, but I'll show you in my scarf that the white has specks of blue and brown in it. And that's a, that's a no for me. I'm not a big fan of that because for me it just looks like, like dirty wool or um, not that nice wool. But... Um, this is it. It has the pattern inside. So if you like to crochet, you can use the pattern inside to do to do this this scarf and it gives you um, uh, specific instructions, chain 36 and then it tells you what to do and it shows you how to put the fringe on and all that. Um, it gives you the pattern in English and in French which is quite cool, I think. Um, it also tells you how to care for the wool. Um, like I said in my previous video, this is 80% acrylic, 20% wool. It's very soft, it's, it's easy to wash. Uh, I do hand wash all my knitwear, all my knitting, um, but I did spin it in the washing machine and it turned out so nice. Uh, okay, so let me show you what I was talking about, the white. Um, the first color is the brown that comes. Then the, uh, the second is white and you can see here it's got specks of brown and of uh, turquoise. Um, and I'm not a big fan of that. I think it just looks dirty. I, I much prefer just plain white if it was just plain white here because all these other ones are just plain. It doesn't, they don't have any specks. Um, here's the turquoise and here's like a, the lighter brown. Um, now the reason I made this video is not just because of the yarn, but I wanted to show you this stitch and or this pattern. This is called the um, uh, one row scarf. Uh, you can find it on Ravelry and um, I want to show you because uh, I knit Continental and I had to adjust the pattern for my for my um, knitting. Um, the the pattern says um, it's called a one row scarf because you keep repeating one row, and it makes this nice pattern. So the pattern says knit two, knit through the back loop, and purl. Then again, knit two, knit through the back loop, and purl. Um, but the reason uh, why it's different for me is because my purling turns out different on the right side and it's because I'm a continental knitter. So this is what my purl looks like on the right side. It, it's already twisted. So if you're, if you're a English knitter, this is what your knit stitch looks like. So then you knit through the back loop and purl. And, and obviously you purl English style, which is quite different for me to do, like that. Which makes the stitch twisted. Uh, or I guess English knitters will say, mine is twisted. All right. <laughs> so the pattern says, knit two, knit through the back loop, purl one, and repeat to the end. But because my stitch is already twisted, like this, I have to knit the third one through the front to make these columns of knit stitches. And then I purl. And this is how I purl continental. So I knit three and I have the yarn in the front. I put my needle through and then I just pull it like this. That's so easy because for me to, to do it the other way is just, I have to use two fingers and pull it through like this. Oh, sorry, 
I have to do it again because I think he was off the camera. Ooh. So I knit three through the front. And then when I purl, I have to twist it. So instead of going like this, like I usually go, I ha I'd have to twist it and pull it through like that. And it's just so complicated. <laughs> Or maybe it's just what you're used to, I don't know. But um, I'm just so used to purling like this. Anyway, uh, let me just get to the end of this row. But this is the one row scarf. So if you're a continental knitter, you knit three through the front and purl one and repeat to the end. If you're an English, Knitter, you knit two through the front, one through the back, and pull. So uh, you work this stitch on a multiple of four plus two. It's stretchy, as you can see. It's um, it's quite squishy, so it's nice for a scarf because it has that air insulation. It looks the same on both on both sides, um, and it's it's just the easiest the easiest scarf to do. I don't know, I just like it. Knit two, knit through the back, pearl one, or knit three through the front per one. I'll give you all the um, all the information in the description down below and uh, let me know what you think. Um, I hope this is this is uh, helpful for everyone. Um, I don't know if anyone has the has that purling situation with the continental knitters um, but um, I had to adjust the pattern to my knitting style and just want to show you here. So here I ended up to, um, to a knit stitch that is um, worked English style. So I have to knit it through the back loop. There we go. This is a knit stitch English style so I have to knit it through the back loop. And this is continental. I knit it through the front. But yeah, I hope um, that this is um, something that you wanna work. Let me know. Let me know if you're knitting this scarf and um, also let me know if you like these carrot cakes. Um, I have four more and uh, I'm gonna do other projects from them. But this is it. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.